Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 11 through 18. Again, I saw under the sun the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor the bread to the wise, nor riches to the intelligent, nor favor to those with knowledge, but time and chance happen to them all. For man does not know his time. Like fish that are taken in an evil net, like birds that are caught in a snare, so the children of man are snared in an evil time when it suddenly falls upon them. I have also seen this example of wisdom under the sun, and it seemed great to me. There was a little city with a few men in it, and a great king came upon it and besieged it, building great siege works against it. But there was found in it a poor wise man, and he, by his wisdom, delivered the city. Yet no one remembered that poor man. But I say that wisdom is better than might, though the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard. The words of the wise heard in quiet are better than the shouting of a ruler among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. I'll be preaching this passage of scripture this Sunday at Grace Orange, 8, 9.30, and 11 a.m. I hope you join us in person under the tent on the live stream. Let me just say that after the, the beautiful, beautiful truth last week that God enjoys believers, that God enjoys you, he chose you, he loves you, he delights in you, and therefore you can enjoy him and you can enjoy this life he has given you. Now we turn to some confusing things of life, but there is still beauty, there is still joy, there is still delight, because God grants wisdom. We're going to find out some things about wisdom on Sunday that are just beautiful, they are powerful, they are wonderful. We're going to see what wisdom can do, but we are also going to see what wisdom cannot do and how Jesus Christ, the righteous one, the wise one, answers all of our questions as it as it pertains to wisdom, how Jesus Christ is the wisdom and power of God. Looking forward to Sunday, let me pray now in anticipation of what God will do. Lord, thank you for your grace and your mercy, your kindness to us. Thank you that you delight in us, that you love us, and that you're always with your people. Lord, I pray that you would give us wisdom, that we would walk in wisdom, we would live in wisdom, that we would love you and worship you. And Lord, when we realize what wisdom can do, that we would trust you and obey you for those things. But when we realize what wisdom can't do, that we will trust you and obey you trust you and look to you as the one who can do all things and does all things well. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.